Hi. Hello. Welcome to our fourth uh, Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And uh, my name is Sangwa. I'm Benson. I'm Pew. Okay, we're from Eastern Music. Okay, for those of you who do not know uh, Eastern Music, uh, we are a one-stop shop for traditional Chinese music instruments. Yes. So we sell instruments and we uh, uh, give lessons and we also do uh, corporate performances. Okay, we also so repair. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we repair. repair and also tune in the yes, yes, yes. So um, for our Facebook Live and Instagram Live, uh, this is how it will go. Okay, first, um, the first segment we'll do some uh, talking and chit-chatting and answer some of your questions. And the second segment we'll introduce some of our products. And for the third segment there will be a uh, music performance. Mm. Yes. So and uh, today's theme will be all about the Pipa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Pipa. Yeah. Yeah, so actually we've been getting like since the second um, Insta story, I mean Insta Live and Facebook Live, yes. we've been getting uh, requests about oh can you play the pipa yeah. or oh, okay demonstrate some of the pipa. So we hear you loud and clear. And today today's segment will be all about the pipa. We'll be chatting Yay. about the different kinds of pipa and what pipa we have. And at the end there will be a mysterious <laughs> <laughs> guest doing a performance for us on the pipa. So do look forward for that. A lot of customers they always ask like. Oh, are there any different kinds of pipa? Because uh, we, our pipa it comes from Shanghai, Shanghai Dunhuang, and we also have very um, famous makers from um, Beijing region, such as Chiu Tingyu and Ma Racing. So, uh, do you think there is a difference, or do you have any example of another instrument that has like very con- uh, distinct difference of region? Uh, okay. Well, I, I because I play the erhu, so I'm more familiar with, with the erhu. So mm-hmm. for erhu, we usually um, divide them into like uh, Beijing pipa or Shanghai pipa. Erhu, erhu, Beijing erhu, Shanghai erhu, and uh, Suzhou erhu. Mm. So the Beijing erhu, uh, the characteristics is it was is as a very brash and a very uh, loud and bold sound as compared to Suzhou, which is a uh, very gentle and very warm and so mm-hmm. uh, somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm sure Pipa will also have this kind of uh, characteristics. So we yeah. heard Pipa. So uh, yes. you tell us more about um, the different characteristics. So I think the most distinct one will be the mm-hmm. Shanghai Dunhuang and the Beijing makers. And under the Beijing region, there is a few makers, which is what you have mentioned just now, like Man Racing and Chou mm-hmm. Tingyu. So we also actually heard like one of our actually. Our viewers actually ask about Murray Singh um, okay. Pipa Like when are we bringing it in? Oh right 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 Yeah so When when are we bringing it in? <laughs> yeah so when are we bringing it uh, Well we have ordered uh, that, that Pipa and uh, because of the Covid virus um, The situation is going to um, As long as it clears up um, I'm sure they can send it over soon uh, But um, yeah, we'll, we'll get it I hope we'll get it soon uh. yeah. So yeah between the Shanghai and, Pi- mm-hmm. and the Beijing Pipa what, what are the different characteristics between these two um, Two different regions, uh, okay. Pipa. So for maybe I'll just take one of the Pipa behind. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So what I'm holding right now yeah. is the. Yeah. Maybe you you play something and uh, maybe yeah. we can listen and maybe we can uh, give some comments also. Yeah. So I'm, what I'm holding right now is uh-huh. the Shanghai Pipa. Okay. So let me play a slow tune first. Okay. For Pipa is a, a Beijing made pipa yes. by a Beijing master. Okay. 
uh, yeah, so I think immediately when uh, PG started to play the Beijing Pipa, mm-hmm. there's a certain, like, uh, it's like thicker, like there's mm-hmm. a volume, like not sound volume, but volume, like there's a whole it like, thickness in it. Yeah, resonates yeah with like it's brighter well. also. Mm-hmm. But uh, what about, what do you think of the Shanghai one? I mean, with, without hearing this, uh, I think it sounds nice. Mm. Mm. Uh, like more pleasant, more... Yeah, but this one uh, has a bit more clarity to it. Yes, yes Articulation. Yes. Yeah, so we're not sure if you right now uh, can hear, hear it. Hear the clear difference. But in this yeah. setting right now, it's quite distinct also. Mm. But, I, but I think it also means that maybe certain region people suit certain yes. type of pieces also. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you play something fast and yeah, easy? Something, yeah, something that requires articulation and clarity. Okay, something fast. Okay. Okay. That's like a explosive uh, quality to the Beijing pipa. Also. Well, I feel that there's, there's a certain lightness to to the tone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this maybe it sounds a bit heavy and uh, which sounds heavy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> since we're comparing pipa, so we actually have a question. Uh, so uh, in the afternoon, we posted a questionnaire yeah. on our Insta story by our lovely Rayling. Hi, Rayling. <laughs> <laughs> so she, uh, she say like, oh, do you have any questions? So there's one uh-huh. that say uh, a username called Joel. Hi Joel. Hi Joel. So uh, Joel yeah. say some. Uh, can you do some demonstration? Maybe uh, pipa piece of dance of the Yi people. Yeah, yi so I believe you played yeah, for a that. small excerpt of it on the Shanghai people. As well as on yeah. Our okay. So uh, so Joel actually has been uh, one of our loyal yeah. uh, viewers. So uh, he did also requested for a he did request sorry for a uh, pipa <laughs> of the uh, what's this oh, of a certain oh. model of yes. yes so he did so for you Joel today we'll be doing this model over here the white wood yeah. pipa with the rosewood pack also by Shanghai too cool. uh, so this is dance of the Yi people just for you all right okay. let's do this. To this, uh, I can hear that actually this sounds better. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, this is uh, for information, this is Tie Li Mu, yeah. uh, one of the Huali wood variation of the uh, people of the wood itself. Uh. Yeah, so okay, what, what wood is this? Uh, this is uh, Bai Mu, Cypress wood, uh-huh. white wood. Yeah, so uh, basically, this this wood is slightly heavier, so mm-hmm. like there's a, like a certain density to it, so that's why there's a different kind of sound quality. And that is to more, like, yeah, it's, for this yeah, as it's more. To this as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this is the um, popular grade, yes. whereas this is the professional grade. Yes. Okay, so how, how much is this? This is four hundred and fifty. And how much? How much is this? This one is uh, eight hundred and fifty. Yes. And this yes. over here is by Chiu Tingyu, and this is going at 
1,300. Uh, certain, because uh, I'm, I'm quite interested to, to hear how uh, both um, region pipa sounds uh, when mm-hmm. you play very intense uh, pieces, ah, you know. Okay. Now it's like a bit mild and I uh, want to see how whack the oh, pipa you, is. there any <laughs> whackable pieces? Yeah, I can I can do some workable. Or oh, on three of these people? No, just just okay, just, just, just mainly the Beijing and. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shanghai. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. What what? What you want to Okay, so it's also a section from uh. a section from Song Wei Dong Mei Hua the behind part, which is more like intense. Okay. I feel so. Let's okay. yeah. have here. Yeah. Shanghai Pipa doesn't sound very explosive. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I think it sounds more explosive here. Yeah. Okay. They also like uh, what we've been saying, like explosiveness, there's a bit of a uh, thickness and a bit of a volume to it. Clarity and yeah. resonance to, mm. to this, yeah. they sound very different, like they have very distinct mm, mm. tone yes. colors also. <laughs> In conclusion, In conclusion. What would you derive? What's what's the conclusion you would derive from it? Okay, maybe for me as a pipa mm-hmm. player, I yes, think we should ask okay. <laughs> the pipa player. <laughs> I think both of the pipas, right? As mm-hmm. for the frets, when we are playing, when you have the feel, there's not much difference. But as of the sound and tone, mm-hmm. I would say that we, um, the Beijing has more of the resonance inside and it's more deep tone. While for the Shanghai, it's more like a crisp and bright when we are playing like the mid range. Of the so would it be fair to ask which one you prefer? <laughs> or oh. we will let you comment below on which kind of pipa you like. Yes. Do you like the Shanghai one or the Beijing, Beijing pipa? All right. Okay. Yes. yes. So uh, we've been talking about Shanghai and pipa, so, and this name that I just accidentally brought up we're supposed <laughs> to talk about. So uh, so this is the pipa made by the Chiu Ting Yu Shi Fu. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Today, uh, we're really excited to be talking more in depth about uh, the, dif- the three different types of models we have for the Chiu Ting Yu Pipa. Mm-hmm. So this one right here is uh, made of Hollywood. Yeah. Yes, so uh, I'll let Biwi talk more okay. about uh, the three different types of uh, Pipa okay. and also maybe demonstrate a little of the sound as well. Sure. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, so off you go. <laughs> <laughs> so for like for those who not are not very familiar with Chiu Ting Yu, so over here at the back of the pipa we will see like there is you can see okay there will be like a carving by Chiu Shi Fu, and the one that I'm holding right now is the one point three k pipa. So Chiu Ting Yu Shi Fu is actually one of the renowned um, pipa makers in Beijing, and he stand by by making all their all his pipa by hand. So let's have a here for the 1.3k um, pipa. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see that it's actually quite like, shiny at the back. Yeah, when we yeah. say Hongmu, um, I mean, you, you can we can say that it's red wood. Lah, mm. Okay, and uh, when we say Shang Qi means that it, it's, uh, they painted it and uh, mm. with a layer of varnish. Later, we'll see one version which uh, without is not without the varnish and you can see mm. the wood grains are clearly. So this is um, a slightly lower model than the model later. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, so for the P pa just now and the one I'm holding is actually 3.5 kg, so it's quite light for P pa. Okay, let's have a here for this. Pi will go at 
1K, which is $2,100 uh, in Sing. Yeah. Thank you. So, and finally, we have the. Yeah. This is the also the roast food, um, yeah. but it's undyed. Undyed. Yeah. yeah. So, it has a very gorgeous wood grain over here. If mm. we can just bring it closer to the audience to take a look. Okay. Yeah, and the headstock is also not the usual uh, peony flower that we see. Mm. This is actually the dragon. Yes, mm. a very traditional yes. dragon, dragon design. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wood dragon! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is a really gorgeous pipa and, mm -hmm. and uh, I was carrying over so I uh, can please tell the audience just how heavy this okay. instrument is. This is this goes like 4.5 kg. So the previous one was how much? 3. 3.5. Yeah, so even though it's just 1 kg difference, but it's a lot. Yes, yeah, so when player. you're carrying around, you'll be. But like, you know you're carrying a good stuff. Yes, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Would, would, a, would a heavier pipa be easier to handle? Yeah, so that's a concept. There's always this. Um, saying like, oh, the heavier the instrument, like for eating, so mm -hmm. uh, the heavier the instrument, the yeah, better it is. Oh, yeah. So, so do you think, for you personally, after owning a few pipas, <laughs> I think for me, I would prefer a heavier pipa because stable. It's more stable, and I feel more like grounded to the oh, chair. So yeah. I feel like <laughs> feel more safe like, with the pipa, and pipa is a very huggable instrument. You like can hug around. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay sure. Okay. Exquisite, rich <laughs> instrument. How much does this kiva cost? This cost at three thousand three hundred dollars. So, yes. so the first kiva was going at one point three. The yes. second one is going at two point one. one. And the final one is three point three. Yes. All right. So that's the two ting yu kiva range that we have. The first one is a hong, uh, red Hwali wood. Mm -hmm. Second one is a dyed rose wood. And the third one, if we can just flip it back again, the undyed. I really like the undyed feel. I, I like how it looks also. Yes. Well, so you know, we have so many exquisite people. You know, mm. sometimes we just wish to have a very good bag. Like mm. a good yes. canvas bag or maybe a case. Mm -hmm. Well, cases are very bulky and heavy. Bags are not very water resistant. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we would like to introduce to you, which is actually one of uh, our crop favourite also. Yes, yeah, my favourite as well. Yes. yes. So, the chariot. So you see this coming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the you see this coming because there's reflection. You can see it coming. Ah, uh, yeah. So um, do, uh, do okay. you want to talk a bit about the so chariot bag? So for the chariot bag, uh, I'll uh, hold the very expensive people okay. here. <laughs> so for the chariot bag, actually, the dimension mm. for it is uh, 102 cm by um, 34 cm by 5 cm. So it can fit the people snugly. Yes. And it can hold it very well. Like all the pipa range that we have over here can fit in this. So, uh, because for Erhu, right, some of the Erhu, like by Yukani, for example, it's slightly longer, is it? Then mm -hmm. it's shorter. So, this one carries almost all pipa, yes, safe almost to all say. Pipa. And also, the compartment in front, you are able to put shrinks. I've seen someone put their yes. grading books inside before. Oh, wow. Yeah, or <laughs> even scores like after that. Yeah, you just, they just roll it out and put it in. Yeah. Put their nails, put their tapes, put their tuner, put yes. their wallet, put their phone. But I think you can put your grading book inside, like together with the oh. pipa. And let's take a look at the inside as well. Yeah. So just like the Jiayue Guzheng canvas bag that we talked about last week. Mm -hmm. So the padding is very, very ex nice. is exquisite felt. Mm -hmm. mm, it's good to touch, so it won't scratch your pipa yeah. or like have any like sudden bumps and like knock your yes. pipa. Because my previous pipa, there's some scratches because like of ah, the grains inside the yeah. bag. So, so good to, to get a one. good pipa, you need to have a good chariot case. Yes. A chariot pipa <laughs> case that we endorse and fully support you to get it. <laughs> can, can you share what Yeah, so it comes in a uh, few colours. So this one is in, <laughs> So this one comes in a gorgeous black yes. and also a very classy brown. Brown. Yes. So let's take a look. Yeah. So you have the gorgeous black, mm -hmm. the delicious red wine, mm -hmm. and the classy brown. Yeah. So and these are the three okay. that, that you see a lot of people <laughs> carrying around. Alright, okay, okay. Carrier behind it can 
school bag. Yeah, so it's not very hard on your shoulders. Okay, so the last segment here will have a special performance by, by our mysterious <laughs> yeah, so actually the mysterious guest that you've been waiting for all this for is actually gonna be B. Should be which FIFA are you gonna play on? Definitely the. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have a bit of a bias on her. Yeah. So you'll be performing uh, one, one tune. tune? Be, I'll be playing Long Chan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing Long Chan. Uh, uh, Dragon Boat. Yes, Dragon Boat. But I won't be playing the full scale. Mm. I'll okay. be cutting a few here okay. and there. But all right. Like so it. all right. We will let you enjoy the P parties, Long Chan. I just want to uh, quickly point out that actually Long Swan uses a lot of very special yes, techniques. A lot of different techniques with yeah. fingers. Yeah, so actually uh, guys if you're really interested to know more about the pipa or like the techniques that you can learn while playing the pipa, we we do actually provide pipa lessons here in Eastern Music as well. So you can always uh, talk to us uh, on our Facebook or Instagram or just leave a comment. Or if you want to request on a more in-depth uh, view of the different techniques used in the pipa. You can also drop a comment below and let us know and we'll definitely love 
to showcase more of this to you. Like what you've seen so far or you want to see more or don't forget to uh, comment below. Like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube and we we'll hope to see you again on our next Facebook Live hope happily, <laughs> happily on every Friday at this timing. So we'll see you again. Bye bye! bye. bye.